It's not hard to understand why tens of thousands of guests flock to Cancun each year to enjoy the relaxation and the ease of an all-inclusive hotel. In this video, we're going to be sharing our experience as well as the things you need to know before you visit. Cancun, baby! We just checked into an all-inclusive here in Cancun's hotel zone. You've always got the option of adults only or kid friendly. We specifically chose adults only because we wanted a bit more of like a quiet environment. Um, and I'm really happy with our choice. Yeah, um, because we're old and we old. need some quiet space as well. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but we're only here for one night, you guys. So we're going to be eating and drinking as much as we possibly can. I'm honestly not even going to have like proper food for lunch. I'm just here for the dessert. I'm a sweet person. I love, I love dessert. Something that we have noticed right off the bat is it seems like because of COVID, of course, they've like pre packaged everything, so you just grab and go. It's pretty convenient. Mm. This one's nice, this one's very good, yeah. I would say a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, it's actually seasoned very well. Yeah. We're about to head to the pool and then we're going to check into our room. I'm really, really excited to see the room. We've got an ocean facing room, which is so great. The bar? Okay. Going to the bar? Oh, we're going to the bar because we don't have enough already. <laughs> we're from the south side and we outside. You heard? We came to the, the bar with drinks and the bartender like immediately came to us with more drinks. So. Oh, that's basically how it seems to go in all inclusives. Drinks look like the ocean water. Actually, yeah, this is exactly what the ocean looks like right now. The name of the drink is. We cannot about? say on YouTube for. for it's blue and mofo. It's a, it's a blue MF. Blue MF. <laughs> I can't do that. This whole thing is awesome. Look, Very nice. Very strong. Very strong. The most important moment of the day is going into the pool. Yeah, I can't believe we haven't even been in the pool yet, you guys. We've just been so preoccupied with the bars. So I think we have to go down there for them. Even if you feel like you're not an all-inclusive person, I feel, like, I feel like if you can make one trip to an all-inclusive hotel, it's, it's definitely worth the experience. If you can make an experience out of it and be like, free to drink as much as you want to drink, eat as much as you want to drink, like I think I think even though it's not considered like a cultural experience, it's still an experience worth having. Look at that backdrop. Look at that. Most hotels offer complimentary daytime activities, but might cut down on the number of activities offered during low season from August to November. Something that I must say of Cancun is that it's got the most beautiful blue waters for miles and miles and miles. If you're looking for blue Caribbean water consistently throughout the year. We actually booked a lagoon facing room. We got an upgrade to an ocean facing view. Well done. Go for it. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how comfortable is that? Oh. Beautiful little breakfast look for, I suppose, room service. That's me. Hi. Oh. Wow, you guys, look at that view. What? Are you happy? I'm grateful. We're just about to go get showered and all refreshed because we're headed out to dinner. There are five restaurants on property. Obviously we can't eat dinner at five restaurants and we're only here for one night, but we are gonna try and hit up as many of the restaurants as we can. For our first meal of the evening, we came and grabbed a crepe. We're getting one to share. And then where we're headed next. I would really like to try the, the steak. Uh, it's the been steak. a while I haven't eaten like yeah. good, good steak, so. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. Why not? Good. You know how we originally said we were going to try to go to all the restaurants? Well, we ended up coming to the fanciest 
like the, the top tier restaurant. Which is called Shangri-La. Sh Shangri-La. And we've ended up ordering everything. Like we've ordered our appetizers, entrees. We haven't ordered dessert though. So we'll probably have appetizers and entrees here. See if we've got any room at all and maybe try and make it to the steak restaurant. But to be honest, like this, this place is nice. It's like, oh, beautiful. Yeah. Like the, the layout of the restaurant is, is very fancy. The menu is diverse. Like, it's, it's pretty French, I would say. It's, it's, it's pretty kind of French. It's French, yeah. yeah. Mm. That's yeah. Wow, amazing! Muchas gracias. Wow, look at this. Look at that. This is veal and this is salmon. Veal and salmon. You guys, we did something naughty. 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 All right. So what we've got here is tea. We've got strawberry cheesecake. We've got some kind of like caramel cream thing and we've got chocolate cake and it's currently like 11 p.m in the morning we're going to share our full review on the hotel and we're going to be leaving our top tips if you want to make the most of your time at in an all inclusive exactly. hearing one. so we'll see you in the morning see you in the morning even though we went to sleep last night with our bellies full we ate so much last night you guys it's not even funny Giovanni woke up hungry, of course. I woke up really hungry as well. So first we're about to head down to the pool to see if we can grab some chairs for the day. And then we're gonna go hit the breakfast buffet because I'm We're gonna hungry. kill it. We're gonna kill it. Alright, so we're just coming to reserve our chairs for the day. Yeah, when we arrived yesterday it was around midday. We just found two beach I mean pool chairs and nothing else was available. Let's go to the most important activity of the day. Desayuno. Breakfast. Desayuno. Aside from dinner and in-room dining, all meals are served buffet style. For what we paid for the night, we were very happy with the variety of restaurants that were available. to share our top tips so that you can make the most of your stay at an all-inclusive hotel. So you may be wondering when is the best time to visit Cancun. So basically to break it down, December to July is the busiest period where you're going to pay the highest room rate and you're probably going to have to book your restaurant reservations and that kind of thing in advance just because it is busy season. Uh, keeping in mind that December to February are the winter months, however we are in the Caribbean so it's not like it's cold. Actually, the, the temperature can be pretty pleasant, but at night it can be a little bit chilly. Whereas March to July is peak summer season and it can get incredibly hot and humid. On the other hand, August to November is um, low season. You can find very good rays, obviously the quiet areas. But it's hurricane season, so you might expect a lot of rain and perhaps a hurricane, but... Sometimes it's a chance worth taking. If you need a COVID test to enter back into the United States or wherever you may be headed back home, the hotel actually has a stand right here that offers a PCR test and the COVID test and the COVID the antigen test and the antigen test. So it makes it really convenient. They deliver the results both physically and via email, which means you don't even have to leave your ho hotel at all. Everything is covered. Sargasm has unfortunately become a very big issue within the Mexican Caribbean within the last few years and the presence and severity of it is largely unpredictable but if you really are worried about this we'd probably recommend avoiding visiting during May to October. Definitely there are some sources that you can um, check to monitor the sargasm situation that we will leave in the description of this video. In most of the hotels you're gonna find ATM, you bring your foreign card, you will be receiving pesos, just keep in mind the exchange rate as well. So we've reached the end of this video. Considering that this was a budget all-inclusive hotel, it's pretty much the cheapest we could find. Overall, we were happy with it. Uh, the food, the quality of the food and the variety of the food was 
was pretty okay. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, if we were to do something different about the, our stay in the hotel, it would be like staying for more than one night to have the full experience of the, the restaurants, the activities, the facilities that the, the hotel has to offer. I think that's something that we would change about it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so if you guys found this video informative or entertaining or you just like our faces, please give us a big thumbs up because that really helps us out. If you're looking for content on Mexico from the perspective of a foreigner and a local, consider to subscribe to our channel, activate the notification bell to be informed when our videos are uploaded. That being said, we will see you in the next episode. Hasta luego! Yeah.